are we to believe that without that accident that maybe the dinosaurs would still be roaming and we'd still be in trees? Is, is evolution that accidental, that random? I think that's almost certainly so in the absolutes and the contingent signs of history. But look, dinosaurs had been dominant creatures of terrestrial environments for what, about 150 million years. This extraterrestrial object did hit. There's some debate as to whether it's the chief cause of the death of dinosaurs. I think it probably was. But mammals, contrary to what a lot of people think, did not evolve towards the end of the dinosaurs' reign or after the extinction. Mammals evolved at the same time as dinosaurs. Throughout that 150 million years, mammals were always around, and they never got any bigger than this. They were tiny little maximally rat-sized creatures living in the nooks and crannies of a dinosaur's world. So they had 120 million years of competition with dinosaurs, and they never made the slightest move towards displacing them. It's only been 65 million years since, so I assume if that extraterrestrial object hadn't hit, and for whatever reason triggered the extinction of dinosaurs, the dinosaurs would still be around. As I said, it's only been half the period of their previous domination since their death. And if that was so, I presume mammals would still be little creatures in the nooks and crannies of their world. You therefore would not have involved, evolved mammalian intelligence, which requires a big enough body to get a big enough brain to be anything like us. There's no reason to think the dinosaurs were moving in that direction. Speculative notions are just awash in the same bias of progress. No, I think if that object hadn't hit, it'd still be a world of dinosaurs, and we wouldn't be sitting in this lovely jazz club discussing this today. Well, you, you've caused us, or almost forced us, uh, to look at natural history and, and evolution in a very, very different way that I think you've talked about it as the, the summation of, you know, fortuitous circumstances, fortuitous accidents. Uh, it's almost random meaninglessness. I mean, whatever happened to this whole notion that we're higher beings who are put on the earth for, for a, a greater purpose? And that we're, in fact, at the top of the evolutionary ladder. Defined by whom? If I were a bacteria, I would be quite satisfied that I was dominating the planet because I'd been here for three and a half billion years. There's more of me than there is of you. There's no way you can nuke me into oblivion, though you humans can nuke yourselves. And I'll be here until the sun explodes and you won't. So uh, now the only difference is that as a bacterium, I wouldn't have the consciousness to imagine that. But I don't know why consciousness should be seen as any higher state of being, especially since if you use the evolutionist's primary criterion of success measured by temporal duration, mm -hmm. I wouldn't place any bets on consciousness assuring our long survival on this planet. It's just something that happened. It's a very interesting something, and it is a level of neurological complexity that no other species has reached, and that's fascinating, but it's no goal of evolution. It's no guarantee. It's nothing predictable, and it would probably not occur again if you could replay life's tape from identical starting point.